Connecticut like State security guard shot while trying to defend a woman from getting mugged. It's just the latest in a slew of dangerous incidents security officers in the valley have been up against in recent months. Fox 5 Stephanie J. Watch tonight at the Tuscany Hotel and Casino with more. Yeah, Olivia, that man was shot in the thigh earlier this morning. And, you know, security guards encounter these kinds of very threatening situations all the time. Sometimes they have the tools they need. They have a handgun. Sometimes they're completely unarmed. But the big question is, who decides when security guards get to carry a weapon? And how does it affect your safety? We're coming into contact with individuals who have committed burglaries, who committed armed robberies are out there using drugs. 2.30 a.m., a man approaches a woman outside the Tuscany Hotel and Casino, demands her keys, and tries to take her purse. A guard hears the commotion and tries to defend the woman and gets shot. December 14th, 4 a.m., an armed robbery at the Bellagio. The bandit got away with $1.5 million in ships. With the way the economy is and the jobless rate, so there's an increase in crime. A lot of guards do carry a weapon. However, at many larger properties, including the Bellagio, security officers do not have a gun. Big crowds and liabilities could be factors for that. Now, if it comes down to the wire, unarmed guards have to act fast. Get out there and be able to talk to people. Uh, diffuse situations, little verbal judo. Sergeant Sappington tells us Nevada law only requires unarmed workers to take a course online with no physical testing. So showing dominance of any confrontation is vital. Command presence, that's very important, you know. Being able to uh, voice yourself, uh, have an appearance. If you look sloppy, um, people are going to take you. Uh, Granted. Steppington's fellow guards are all former policemen, are equipped with weapons and highly trained. No matter what post, though, you're assigned to, with or without a weapon, the job has its risks. At Tuscany, it just may have saved that woman's life. Now, with cities and states on a very tight budget, especially for law enforcement, security guards' this job is really in high demand. And, you know, oftentimes they do work side-by-side -side with police officers in their investigations. Now, going back to the victim in this situation, the man is expected to make a full recovery. His injuries were non-life-threatening, and the suspect involved in that shooting is still on the loose tonight. Reporting live on Stephanie J, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Uh, Interesting information, Stephanie, and as you mentioned, plenty of these security officers are actually retired law enforcement officials who, I imagine, perceive the job as being less dangerous than what they did, say, for Metro or Henderson or North Las Vegas, but, I mean, obviously, it is a dangerous job. It is definitely a dangerous job. I mean, this guy had a gun. He could have, heaven forbid, hurt this woman or even run into the casino. So many scenarios that could have played out here. So the important thing is really getting those resources rather, and those tools to really help out in a situation like our police officers and the men and women do every day. Olivia? All right, and we will update our viewers uh, when we get more information about uh, that suspect. Stephanie J. reporting tonight. Thank you.